What's up everyone? Today's video is going to be about the Valley GP0190. Getting back from uh, Adams Motorsports Park again. Uh, went out this time with the O'Valley 190 and a couple other minis and just had a blast as usual. If you haven't heard of the O'Valleys yet, they're an Italian manufacturer that makes race bikes for kids, but it's gained a lot of popularity amongst adults and professionals for them to train on. Now, I've already done a video explaining the benefits of riding and training on a mini moto. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, I'll link it below. The purpose of today's video is to share with you how it's been as someone that's six feet tall and weigh about a buck seventy to ride these little kids' bikes and um, what kind of pros and cons there are and modifications that I had to make to make it fit me better and, and have me be more comfortable riding it. And I'll just go over, you know, my experiences with it so far and, and um, just kind of show you the bike and, and go from there. So there are a couple modifications that I had to make to the bike in order for me to feel a little more comfortable on the bike. Uh, the first one being the clip-on position or the handlebar. The stock position is angled as such and when I tried riding the bike with the, with the clip-on at an angled position like that, my knee was hitting my, my arm or my elbow, especially with the suit on it adds a few inches to, to the kneecap. So, Anytime I was in a tuck position and I had to swing my leg out, it would get caught on my elbows. So I had to swing the clip on out almost perpendicular to the bike, uh, which added an incredible amount of leverage to an already sensitive motorcycle. And now it just feels like it's very, very twitchy uh, going into the corners or changing directions. But that's a compromise that I had to make. Um, in order for me to just be able to freely move around on the bike. And the second issue I had with the bike is the profile of the tank. It's very shallow, which means when I'm hard on the brakes, I really have no support. Whereas on a full-size sport bike, I can grip onto the tank like this. Um, and it's much higher, so I can you know, rest my my thighs, inside leg on onto the gas tank. Um, so in order to fix that, I added these stomp grips. Uh, they actually didn't sell any for the Valley, so I just bought some universal grips and, and cut them up and kind of made my own. And, and now it, it helps a little bit. Um, it's still very difficult being hard on the brakes, especially because these bikes have so much power. Um, and you have to apply a lot of front brake in order to get these things to stop. So if you're six feet or above, it's definitely worth uh, sitting on one of these before you commit to one because as you can see, I definitely am a little bit cramped on this bike. Uh, I almost have to sit, definitely have to sit on the very furthermost position on the seat most of the time and overall you know there are some adjustments you can make but it definitely feels a little bit too tight now with the newer models and 12 inch wheels and, and a couple inches bigger frame uh, I, i'm pretty sure i'm going to fit it a lot better but uh, given this year models and, and 
uh, this size, uh, you do have to make some compromises. But um, yeah, O'Valley is just a phenomenal bike and, and I've really thoroughly enjoyed it in the last few months of ownership. Um, although I did have to make a couple modifications for me to feel a little comfortable on it. You know, it is a very small bike um, with very aggressive ergonomics and I'm six feet tall, weigh about a buck seventy. So, you know, it's, it's been challenging trying to get comfortable on it, but I'm, I'm just now getting in the groove, so. All right, so let's dive right into it. Here's a 2018 version of the GP0190. I have all their bodywork removed because I'm about to do a top end rebuild as part of the 40 hour maintenance. There's a beautiful trailless frame and subframe, similar to the ones found on Ducatis. There's a 190cc four stroke motor, billet adjustable rear sets with the Heeltech quick shifter. This trim came from the factory with Olean's rear shock and Andriani cartridges. Now this older model came with the small 10 inch wheels instead of the 12s found on newer models. It's wrapped with the PMT slicks. It's a carburetor with pod filter, CDI, billet triple tree, clip-ons, oil cooler mounted up front. It's 33 millimeter inverted forks with dual piston front brake caliper. EVR slipper clutch, it's kickstart, rear brake caliper. Yeah, it's a purpose-built race bike, so there's not a whole lot going on, which is nice. 